uniqueness of creating this track for the Monster Energy Cup um, is that this isn't a traditional Supercross track. I don't want it to be a traditional Supercross track. I want it to bring the components that you've seen throughout your career um, and that Jeremy has. But given the aspect ratio of the stadium being a rectangle and what we do outdoors is going to be um, part of the difficult part of creating a track that's this unique. You know, that's, that's my biggest goal is like, what can we do to make it hybrid? Everyone can do the same stuff and it have special things on there, but the racing, you can't lose sight of that's how, good. how good the racing needs to be. There just there has to be something fun there that the riders are going to be pumped to hit. You know, it doesn't have to be a La Rocco sleep. I'm just using that Probably as an like example. You know what I'm saying. I, I always think, too, you got to have the start inside. Mm -hmm. 250S will have more of an advantage on the hard pack start rather than the dirt start, you know? Because mm -hmm. they just don't have the power to pull their self out of the sand like a 450 does. I just think it would be so cool for the fans and stuff. You'd just be going so fast. You know, they would love it. And then this, I got a lot of stuff on my Twitter. People want me to make that wall like at Daytona. I think that's kind of cool. I want them to race, you know, they don't have to worry about anything but race and they love the track. Yeah. Not be sweating it because dude, Stewart did this quad, you know what I mean? Yeah, totally so yeah, the key with the key with the uh, with the 250Fs is that you, you can't to make them comparative to the 450s is like you can't have like real tight something real tight and then you got to do something sketch, you know, that you got to be where they can where they can hold speed. Then I, then I don't yeah. think there is that, that, that right. much of a disadvantage. Your cool factor is going to be inside the stadium. I'm just thinking like like some iconic jumps and stuff like that. I think mean, that's cool. And I, I, iconic, a few iconic jumps inside and outside, some iconic turns. And then Something if you do that, that, the racing will still be good because I'm just scared. I just want the racing to be good. See, like I'm envisioning right now coming out of the stadium, turning left rollers and then a nice straight and we'll have some sand hoopies all the way here just rollers you know if you like that that's that's simple and i think it'd be cool come down here you got your sand rollers and then just land off the last Go sand roller like yeah. land off the last sand roller and you're wide open and just rah, you know and turn don't have to use the whole thing I'm maybe just two-thirds of whatever it. looks like the right radio. right yeah. it, whatever it looks like exactly have, like this supposedly this is a VIP section right I know what that is doing. okay and we're gonna have a this is gonna be like for the fans here sinking really big jump here like hundred foot tabletop or something okay turn left there's gonna be a tunnel here so we're gonna have basically like a jump tabletop where the guys can turn left because I think it'd be sick if you came out and you had something and you could just hit hit the jump you know and freaking whip it out right there over the tunnel make a nice landing not so steep so in other words it's a it's a, it's a pre jump and the tunnel is the landing yeah yeah as far as a rider there's three fun things within 15 seconds you know what I mean